All right, gang, Dan with OBS Outpost. Today we're going to be going over a Gen 4 seat swap mod that's gonna allow the front seat to lean further forward. Uh, this is gonna be beneficial for guys with the extended cabs, the two-door Tahoes, Yukons, uh, to gain more access for rear seat passengers. Before we get started, I just wanted to take some data to see where we're at. So right now with the seat all the way forward, we got about a nine inch opening. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it forward and let's see where that lands us. So with the seat fully raised and tilted forward, gives us about 13 inches of access. Let's go ahead and pull the seat out of here and show you how to do the mount. Okay, I got the seat out. First thing we wanna do is take this cover off and we're gonna take this plastic cover off. That's just a Torx on this one, same on the other side. I think like a T15. So for the inside, we got one Torx here we're gonna unscrew and then one back here. Once you've got the panel off, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this Torx and remove this metal piece. Okay, now that we got the panels removed, this is all we're gonna be doing. This right here is a stop. This raised portion right here is a stop. When the seat reclines forward, it circles down and it hits this right here. That's what prevents the back from tilting any further forward. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit this with a hammer and a punch. We're just gonna push that back, maybe about a quarter inch or so, allowing this portion to go past that. Okay, after a few taps of the hammer, you can see that I pushed that piece further down. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do it on the other side, but first I'm gonna Put the panel back on this one and then flip it over. So for the other panel on the front here, you're gonna have one Torx that's right there on the inside. Point to it right up there. And then on the back side here. All right, back up under there. We got a second one. Let's get those two out and we'll get the side panel off. So I got the side panel off. It also has, it's also like clipped on this bar right here. So you kind of got to push it up and then it's got a clip back here as well. It's kind of hard to show you right here. It clips on the side. So you want to push this panel up. Just like the other side, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this removed out of here. Get this access right to our stop right there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna just give this thing a quick punch down. So I'd like to use a punch here rather than just trying to bang it on with a hammer because you don't wanna bang up this part of the area. You just wanna use a punch here. right there okay let's get this thing back together and put it all back. right guys time for the reveal let's see how we did i'm gonna call that about 20 inches that is huge now the seat is powered all the way forward and it does take a few seconds for it to recline in that position obviously if you've got a manual seat it'll be instant so let's go ahead and we're gonna raise this up and tilt it to see how much more distance we gain. So I went ahead, raised the seat all the way up and we did gain a few more inches. We're gonna call that 24. Either way, that's a huge amount of access space. Now we got very happy with this mod, how it turned out. Uh, these are power seats, so it does take a few seconds to get into this position. If you're concerned about that, then I'd suggest finding a manual seat. That way you'll get instant gratification. If you wanna do a seat swap like this and you need brackets, www.obsoutpost.com. Uh, this is a Gen 4 swap that's done in this Tahoe uh, with the Gen 4 rear seat. Got a video showing you how to do that. Video showing you how to install these seats with the brackets. 
www.obsoutpost.com. If you need to get a hold of me, you got questions, dan at obsoutpost.com. Uh, so I just had to do one last thing before I leave you guys. I wanted to see how far this thing would recline back. So check this out. I mean, that that's pretty cool. So if you got passengers who like to take naps on road trips or whatnot, that thing can totally be laid out. Very cool. So that's another benefit of doing this mod. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you.